Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we currently have a couple of options if we want to go to war again and I kind of do. We just fought Russia up over here but we didn't take significant damage. The Ottomans did basically all of the work for us so that was absolutely great. We got a bunch of no guys territory back and that's wonderful but I was just looking at potential options down over here because I'd like to clean up our border with the Ottomans over here. So I was looking first at Fars and this is definitely a viable option. They're only allied with Delhi and we should be able to handle Delhi, especially once we hit Miltec 13. So that'll be actually what do we get for Miltec 13? New type of cannon, artillery fire and artillery shock. Okay, noted. So that's fine for now. The other option is actually the Timurids and we can attack them. John Poor would not join because their ruler is malevolent. So I think that's going to stay the case until they get another ruler. Now we should probably take care of this sooner rather than later. So we're currently moving our forces southward here. And if we take a look here, you can see where I've told them to go. We have one going here and one going here. With the plan being that we're going to attack the Timurids first. And then we're going to attack Vars. That would be the overall concept here. Now, I do want to be doing at least some rooting out of corruption. So we're going to park right about here so that we can drop this somewhat. But mostly, to be honest, actually, I'm going to put it like here so that we're rooting out a tiny bit of corruption. Mostly what we're interested in doing is utilizing legalism to drop our corruption. That would be the best way to do this. So for now, that's the overall goal here. Now we do have some cash and we could certainly use that to build a couple of mosques as well as a single workshop. That brings us down to 220 gold and we could consider building more, but none of them are what I consider to be in the the acceptable range of construction, right? Also, we don't need the music control panel open. I was checking the name of a song earlier. <laughs> Not particularly important. We're gonna tick forward here. There have been dubious spending practices. We could gain two corruption or lose 15 loyalty from the, from the Ulema, and our admin advisor would leave our court. So our current admin advisor is this guy giving us national tax modifier. We're going to arrest him. I'm okay with losing the loyalty. I don't want to get the corruption. Okay, month tick happens, and now what I want to do is check in here to see what our options are. Production efficiency? What are we doing for production right now? 9.07? It's not huge. Okay. We'll take him anyway. It's going to be probably slightly negative from before. Yeah, that's definitely slightly negative, but that's understood. That is absolutely fine. So we're working on moving our armies back over this direction, right? We're getting into position to attack the Timurids, and we're currently slightly negative, but that's because we're taking attrition because of our army movements. I think we'll get over that, hopefully. And we can now grab Diptek 12, and I definitely want to do this. Beautiful. Lose 48 ducats? Okay, sure. That's kind of rude, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be taking some attrition over here. That's understood. They're going to be breaking up fairly soon here, right? So we're going to have one parked here. One is going to be moving on. So that's absolutely okay. We're going to be planning to attack Sindh, Baluchistan, and Timurids. And actually, we kind of want to annex all of it. I don't know if we can pull it off. It would be fascinating if we could. But what we do have here is four additional land force limits. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get two units of cannon into this army. And that is going to put us up over our supply limit there, which is mildly awkward to be sure. But we're going to bring in another unit over here. And we can get these guys drilling. Actually, maybe we shouldn't drill them. I'm planning on declaring war very, very soon, right? Right. So we probably shouldn't drill them. We'll just wait for these two additional units of cannon to get here. That'll be in a few months. Jampur is planning to attack Sambalpur. Okay. What do they have going on down here? This is occupied by Bamanis. Okay. Noted. Bamanis is, of course, going to be a potential issue down there. We'll see what ends up happening with that. But let's get these cannon built. There we go. One more unit of cannon to bring in. And perfect. Okay. So now we are ready to declare this war, I think. The main thing that I want to do is I want to move up over to here. 
Yes. Reason I want to move here is because I, because I want to be able to take out this Timurid army immediately. So we're going to move up over here right now. And we're going to look to declare this war basically instantly. So they don't have much that they can throw against us. This war is pretty free since Jampur is not going to be a thing. And we do have CBs for all of this, right? We have claims on these provinces, I believe. Yeah, we have a permanent claim on these provinces. Okay, so that is absolutely fine. We're going to declare this, and this is going to be any war goal, really. Bam is where? That's down over here. Okay, we might want to go for, like, Golestan as the primary CB here. So something along the lines of this. So we'll declare this war. And we're going to head straight on in over there and take out that Timurid army. We're going to head down into Sindh, down here. And the real question is... Okay, they're probably going to go out this direction. That's reasonably fine. The real question is, just how much can we get away with taking here? I don't know, is the answer. And we can actually grab ourselves a Miltech here, so we can get a cannon upgrade. That'll be absolutely fine. Which type of cannon do we want? I usually go for the offensive pips here, and so that will mean large cast iron cannon. Phenomenal. So that's good. Now, we're currently negative financially, and that is primarily due to reinforcement, correct? Correct. That's primarily due to reinforcement. Okay. So I'm going to split off a couple of units here. They're going to do something like this, while these guys go start up a siege of the primary Sindh capital fort here. That'll be perfect. We're starting up a siege up over here in Timurid land, and we're just going to continue to push through. I see that no guy is sieging their capital, which is absolutely ideal for us. We're very happy about that, actually. So yeah, they're going to be occupying some provinces down over here. That is quite expected. So I want you to come in over here, and then you can just group up over this way. Looks good. So we're looking to knock Sindh and Baluchistan out of this war as soon as we can. The real question here is just how much can we actually take? I'm going to come down here and eliminate this unit of cannon. Okay. So how much can we actually take down here without causing significant issues? Hang on. I see them doing this. That's very rude of them. It's not shocking. That's actually quite expected that they would come in and try to stop us here. So that's fine. We get out of there and we just group up over here, right? So no problem whatsoever there. We're just going to continue. Our trader just died on us. That's probably a good thing for the moment. Because of our finances, we probably don't want to hire someone new. So for now, that's reasonably fine. I want to head up over this direction. We just lost a general as well. That was this general. That's certainly awkward timing. So I'm going to send somebody out. Ooh, I don't like the directionality. We have to go from the fort. Okay, we're just going to have to park here for now. And just not have a general for the moment. That is definitely very, very sad. Okay, so we're just going to head on down into BAM here. This will be fine. And they're grouping up over here. We're just going to get this fort sieged for the moment. That'll be okay. We're going to get out of this war relatively quickly. And yeah, no guy is going to come siege this back. So that sounds absolutely great to me. No problem whatsoever there. So they're going to run around up over this way. That's expected. We're tied down by this fort right now. And once we're no longer tied down by the fort, it won't be a problem. So that's okay. We're going to continue to push in and take Baluchistan's capital. Hopefully this fort will wrap up soon. It was not then, unfortunately. I wish it was, but it was not. Okay, we just took a loan. That's not shocking. That is quite expected, in fact. Okay, now the siege is over. These guys are walking this way. I'm going to let them lock in, and we're going to go fight them. Beautiful. So this siege is going to be done shortly. I'm going to split off this unit to go take over Josk. There we go. Cool. No guy is down over here. And actually, they're fighting that, so that's perfect. Thanks, no guy. Excellent. And we took that over. Perfect. We're going to head into Karan. And we just got some money as well, so that's great. We're going to head over to Chabahar. And we've almost got everything occupied here. They are not making good progress up this way, so that all looks good. 
And no guy is going to fight over here. Stack wiping that. Perfect. No problem at all there, then. Moving towards legalism is absolutely something that we want. No guy is occupying here. So that looks good. Yeah, no problem here. We're at 99% war score. We're just going to wander on up. Phenomenal. I don't think we're actually going to fight them here. We're just heading there just in case, right? So that's reasonably fine. We're going to get all of this occupied. Yeah, they're at 14% right now. Noted. So 28%. I'm going to fight them here just to prevent them from occupying this fort on the off chance that they get it. Brandenburg declared war on Austria. Okay. That's fine. We don't really care too much about that. Actually, I kind of want to park somewhere down here. Okay, so we're going to finish up this battle against the Timurids. No problem. Now, they're not going to get stack wiped, but they kind of have nowhere to go. So they're just going to get stack wiped by no guy here instantly. And that puts us at 100% war score. So they are unconditionally surrendering. That is magnificent. So I want a separate piece sinned. Out of curiosity... Oh boy, okay. This is a lot of aggressive expansion down over here. This is the most that we can take from them. It's not a lot. Timurids, Persia, Sindh, Baluchistan, Fars. We don't care about any of those. So those are all completely fine. We're going to take 160 gold, and we're going to grab this. Now, oh, we don't have enough war score to demand this. Right. Hang on. Why did it let us select this? Because I shift LMB'd, oh, for as much as they're willing to accept, right. But this is as much as we can actually take. There we go. So we're going to take that. That's going to be quite a lot of aggressive expansion out over here. No doubt about that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to really push in this direction. But now, next up is going to be Baluchistan. And the question is, can we vassalize them? We can. Who would be angry? Timurids, Sindh, Persia, Baluchistan, Fars the usual suspects. We're going to take all of their gold. We're going to vassalize Baluchistan. Perfect. So that's wonderful. Now we're going to have to wait for diplomats to come back. And now they're back. And now we're going to see what we can get from the Timurids. So can we full annex the Timurids? Actually, we can. Who would be angry? Sindh, Persia, Fars, Baluchistan, Delhi, and Gujarat. Okay, so these guys are new in the usual suspects there. Do we care about them? Honestly, as long as we're allied to Ottomans, no. <laughs> so this is probably absolutely fine. So we'll just take 105 gold here. This coalition, I think, is reasonably fine. We just get the Timurids fully annexed here. Beautiful. And... Right, we need a leader over here. Our mission has been fulfilled to control West Coruscant. So what do we get out of that? Some permanent claims. Okay, cool. We also control East Coruscant. And we get core creation cost minus 20% and 100 admin power. That's not bad. And we took the Western Steps. Shock damage and 100 admin power. Cool. So we can get some coring done here. We can also upgrade our government rank, which, of course, would be upgrading to kingdom. Magnificent. So that's very solid. We can seize land back from the estates. Are the estates in a good state for that? Yes, they are. So we can actually just grab this right now. Magnificent. That is great. And now, of course, we need to make a few cores. So let's sort by cost. Let's do it from... We can probably just get all of these, can't we? Yes, we can. Phenomenal. So we'll get that going. These guys are going to be sitting somewhere down here. Actually, this is 38 down here. So that looks solid. And then we can have these guys, of course. We need to go grab a general from the emirs. We can't do that right now because we've already done it within the last 10 years. Okay. We can, however, impose a new religious tax, which we're going to do. That will, of course, allow us to repay this loan. Magnificent. Now, we're still at minus 6.36 here. This is because we are reinforcing. That's costing us 9.89 extra per month. That's not shocking. We can turn down our army maintenance if we really want to. Do we want to roll a general here? What is our current leader points here? 245, and then our heir is 232. So let's give our heir military command here. Wow, six fire pips. Okay, sure. So that seems reasonably okay. 
We can also get a free diplomat, or rather not a free diplomatic advisor, a new diplomatic advisor. And diplomatic reputation plus one wouldn't be bad, but this is very expensive. Trade efficiency is not great for us, but we're going to go for it anyway. And that puts us at minus 9.13. I'm not shocked about this. We're going to cut our army maintenance down to about here. We're still going to be reinforcing pretty heavily. And we're going to run out of manpower. So that's fine. Hi, Consul. Baluchistan is now our vassal, as is Nogai. And Fars and Persia are now priority targets. So that's all fine, but we do need to handle our current situation, right? Corruption is going up by 0.26 annually, and that's a bit of a problem. We need to get our manpower regenerated, which is only going to be about seven months away. That's not too bad, all things considered. The real question is, with Gujarat potentially in a coalition against us, does anyone actually want to try it? And I think the answer is no, not with the Ottomans here. Move 25 towards legalism. What are we at right now? 72? Absolutely, we do this. That allows us to drop our corruption here by two. Or we can sit at this higher level of taxation. That isn't saving us a huge amount of money, though. That would allow us to sit, like, right here or so. That said, once we run out of manpower, this will get a lot better for our army maintenance. So there is that to point out as well. So I think for the moment, I am going to drop our corruption here. So we'll lose two corruption. That's great. And we finished up a conversion. We are now instantly converting up over here as well because we're on autonomous missionary. So that's absolutely great. We're happy about that one. Jampur is calling us in to a conquest against Malwa. Allied with Bengal? Okay. They are allied with Sindh. We'll accept it. And we're going to go attack Sindh. They can handle... They, they can handle... What is it? Bengal, was it? Hang on. Who all were, are we in here with? Malwa, Bengal, and Sindh. Okay, so Bengal is definitely currently winning out over this way, but they're in another war. They're Miltech 10 as well. They're big, but they're not actually all that strong. Okay, noted. So we're going to head on down over here. We just defeated Sindh, so this is not going to be very complicated at all. So over we head. We're going to get these capped. No problem. And yeah. Gujarat is in this as well. Okay, they're on our side here. That's actually a good thing for us. We're currently in a war together. So that's great. They're also allied with Delhi, but we have an in to fight Delhi. So I'm not too concerned about that. Didn't necessarily want to be in this war, but you know, the allies called. And yeah, <laughs> Baluchistan is currently losing this battle. That's understood. No problem whatsoever there. So we have occupied here, and now we're going to have to go around due to this fort. But that fort should fall very, very soon. Now, we have no manpower at this moment, and that is a bit of a concern, definitely. But we're just going to go through here and occupy all of this. We'll see if Jampur gives us any territory here. It'd be nice if they did. But we're going to have some internal issues, right? So we're going to need to handle those. I'm going to come over here to eliminate this elephant, but I'm also going to split off this unit here with the idea being they're going to come up here and cap Karan. Cool. So that elephant did indeed get stack wiped. These guys are just kind of running northward. I'm not entirely sure what their goal here is, but whatever. I'm going to split off a second unit over here because we took an attrition tick. That's understood. Missionary strength minus 2% is not great. Maybe losing the ducats here is okay. And we had Kashmiri separatists up over here. Noted. That's absolutely fine. We'll go deal with those in a moment, assuming our allies don't. Which they might. Our allies might handle that for us. Like, no guy, I think, is... Yeah, no guy in Gujarat are taking care of that for us. So no problem whatsoever there. Actually, just Gujarat. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So Sindh peaced out. And they ended up just giving one additional province to Baluchistan. Okay. 
Well, that definitely could have been better in terms of the numbers of stuff that we get, but I guess it's okay. It'll work. I mean, it is gains of a sort, so we'll just make our way back up. I'm probably not going to participate too much in the rest of this war. It's just Mawa and Bengal at this point. And, I mean, we're at 16%. So, yeah, these guys are not involved in the war right now. We do need manpower, so I think that we probably chill from here. We're not interested in getting any land down here at this time. Baluchistan got their territory back, which is convenient. We're very happy about that. But we would have liked to get a little more out of Sindh, to be honest. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. And there's this little bit, bit of Persia in Fars now. I don't think that was the case previously. So we're currently negative financially by 1.95. And a large amount of that, I think, is actually probably due to inflation here. Inflation is raising our cost by 2.8%. Well, that's not that much, really. What's our primary cost here? Army maintenance. Yeah, that makes sense. So army maintenance is currently significantly up. We're paying 4.47 extra per month to reinforce our troops right now. If we drop this down, we're still reinforcing 950 per month. And we're gaining 887 per month. So we would still be reinforcing at full speed if we were to go about, that's 939 per month. That's 628. So it would need to be somewhere in between there. 934, 832. So somewhere around here, 866 and 887, yeah. So that's 900. So that's still going to be fully utilizing our manpower growth, but we're going to be having a significant amount of income here. So that looks good. What we're not going to do... Oh, Bamanis has uh, done some conquest down here. That's not necessarily great, of course. We're going to be natural enemies with Bamanis because of Jampur. But for now, we're just going to let this finish up. So we're just reinforcing right now. Our, our vassals are going to be fighting up over here. But we're chilling is what we're doing. That's the idea here anyway. Yes, I know we're at 26% maintenance. That is by design. So let's take a look here and see if any of this is good to go. No. What's our war exhaustion at? 4.21 and it's not going down right now. So our war exhaustion is definitely painful for us. And yeah, we're building up a small amount of manpower, but that's absolutely fine. Corrupt taxmen. Hmm. We'll lose 40 admin power here. That's quasi-okay. We're going to get all of this coring done relatively soon. So that looks reasonably good. We're likely to have additional rebellions going forward. We would love it if Bamanis would end this war soon. We did just get additional money. Or not Bamanas, if Jampur would end this war soon. We'll see what they're interested in taking, but for now, we've gotten everything that we're interested in that we can get anyway. We are still interested in going and attacking Fars over here, who is allied with Delhi, and we'll see what we can get out of all of that. But that is a future war, no doubt about that. Now, I am very, very interested in proceeding a bit here we are still two years ahead of time in miltech so we're going to let that tick down for sure since we're two years ahead of time should we reduce our land maintenance modifier by five percent very likely actually that land attrition minus 25 percent is going to be huge as well so let's just grab the land maintenance modifier reduction for now and that brings up our income by another two ducats per month that seems absolutely great. We're keeping our forts up for right now, just in case enemies come in. But I'm not expecting enemies to come in for the moment. Our army organizer just died, and there's no guy pretender rebels up in no guy. I, I know that's shocking that the no guy rebels are in no guy, but we should definitely do something about that. We could also become defender of the faith. I don't know if we want to do that, although manpower in true faith provinces plus 20%. Missionaries plus one and the morale going up is nice. Monthly war exhaustion would be decent too. We do have a bunch of Shia provinces over here that we would want to do something about. And honestly, going over to mysticism would be the way to do that. 
But we don't want to go to mysticism just yet, I think. I think that we probably are interested in Defender of the Faith, but not right now. Once we switch over towards mysticism, I think it'll be a better position for us. So that'll be the overall goal there then. So we do have some additional Separatists brewing up, and these guys are going to head up here and fight this. We did just lose yet another general. Okay, that's mildly awkward. And where are these guys at? Right over here. Okay, perfect. So with that in mind, we should definitely consider grabbing a general. So can we do it from here? Not yet. Okay, so we don't have the timing for that, and we don't have the military power here either. We need 53 for that, so that's two months away. We just have to go in here. It should be okay. Yeah, they're going to get separatism there. But we should be able to win that. We are getting some cores done. And we can make a state up over this way, which we definitely will do. And then we'll get that cord. Magnificent. Yeah, they just don't have the numbers for this. Cool. And our allies are just like, why were you struggling with that battle a bit? And our answer is cash. <laughs> we want the cash. We're being greedy. We're being super greedy right now. So the question now is, are we doing okay up here? And the answer to that is, actually, yes. They didn't have the numbers. We definitely didn't have the morale. But they didn't have the numbers for it. And we're just going to head up here, cap this back for no guy. And that'll be absolutely fine. Phenomenal. We are currently at positive manpower. So that's great. Absolutely phenomenal, in fact. And we're just going to get that done, and these guys can come back to, like, Samarkand. That'll be okay for the time being. Cool. So we're making good money here. We're in a decent position. We would like for this war to end. That would be phenomenal. But we have a bunch of rebel uprisings brewing up. We need to get our war exhaustion down. It's currently going up from attrition. Although that will go away soon enough. Cindy Separatist down over here. Now, I absolutely want to bring in a general here. And we may want to consider it's the seventh right now. I don't know how this battle's going to go. With our maintenance down, it's going to be potentially spicy. We do have these allies on the way in, though. We kept them busy. For long enough for our allies to show up. Perfect. And now we got it dealt with. Yeah, this is not awkward at all. Not awkward in the slightest. So we're going to head on up over here. I don't want John Poor to be sitting here, so that's fine for now. Cool. Obviously, we've got internal issues, right? So we're interested in John Poor ending their current war, and we're interested in our forces regenerating while we deal with our internal issues. We are technically helping John, John Poor with their war. There's no doubt about that. The question is... Can they win it without us? And I think the answer to that is yes. This is actually occupied by us. We should flip this over to John Poor. We're not interested in it. They can do what they want with it. And that might make it so that they're more interested in bailing on the war, which we're definitely interested in exiting this war. There's no doubt about that one. So we're currently at plus 12 here. There's another bunch of cores coming in. Phenomenal. I want to check what it would be like. Ah, yes. Here we go. 0.24. So we are technically positive now. And that's with 4.39 from reinforcing our men. So that's going to get significantly better. We did finish up a bunch of cores. We cannot apparently make states from them, but I guess that's okay for right now. And lose 5 legitimacy or 15 dip power. We'll take the dip power hit. Thank you very much. One thing I want to check here. Baluchistan, 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 and Sindh. Okay. So these three can be reconquested by Baluchistan, and then we just take this one. Noted. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to strongly consider attacking Fars, and perhaps Persia as well. Persia has no friends. So we're probably going to look at that. We are currently truced with Persia. How long is that going to last for? 
Two more years. Okay, noted. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.